Hi guys. Um, okay, so in terms of making some documents that you might want to use, just kind of keeping yourself a little bit more organized, um, I am actually in Microsoft Word right now. Um, you can, again, like I said, you could use pages, anything at all that you want to use, but I like to use this a lot for um, if I have specific kind of questions that I want to remember to ask people, like an onboarding sheet, Essentially, all you're doing is, you know, coming in and kind of creating your own document. So you can change your font using, you know, the standard HTML editor, customize it any way that you want to. Um, and then we're going to completely format it and then turn it into a PDF. So a lot of times, like I know that there is a checklist already on there, but let's say I want to have a little bit more in-depth checklist. I don't want to use the template that's provided um, by Remarkable. Let's say I needed to have a few more options. So I could just go into insert table, insert a table here. It could say, you know, like client name, um, deposit paid, um, you know, logo given, um, uh, completed or like the project is done and then paid in full. So you could kind of come in here and create an entire, I'm just tabbing over to give myself more lines, create an entire document here. This would be a great tool for me just to kind of keep track of where I am in terms of my, um, my client load. So once I have it ready to go and I could even insert my insert pictures, I could insert my logo in here if I wanted to. Um, and so the whole thing is ready to go. We'll actually just move this over here. And once it's ready, now I can go to File, Save As, I'm going to choose my destination. I will name it whatever it is that I want to name it. And instead of saving it as a Word document, I am going to choose to save it as a PDF. Hit save. And now I have this PDF created. So now I can go back into my Remarkable. I can click import. I can go back to my desktop and I will find a sample PDF here. And now it is magically uploaded here. I just saw it upload out of the corner of my eye to my tablet as well, so it's here, it's ready to go. Now, if this is something that I wanted to put into my business folder, I simply click it. I say that I want to move it. I put it into business and say move here, and magically it's in my business folder. If it's something that I needed to copy, because I want it in every single one of my um, folders, I would say copy, and then I would come out and find the place that I want it to go, insert it here, and now it is in my rec source file as well. So I could continue to copy that and put it into every single folder that I wanted. So that is basically how you would create a PDF um, customized to your own unique needs. In the very beginning, I actually had an entire planner that I was using um, that I would upload to, let's see if I can find, I would upload to my, um, my Remarkable tablet that basically kind of kept me on track for the day. So I had my schedule, my to-do list, um, and I use that quite a bit. I actually now um, I'm no longer using it on the Remarkable because I found that I need more space to be able to write out my schedule and things like that. So this is actually something that I print out um, for myself and for my clients and friends. But, but that would basically be an example of something that you could do. I love, love, love having things like my onboarding and my brainstorming worksheets um, already put on my Remarkable tablet because it just gives me, I mean, it keeps me on track. It has everything that I need. I can plan this out ahead of time, save it as a PDF, put it on my Remarkable. And then the great thing is, so now it's in, I'm putting it in each of my, uh, each of my client folders again <laughs> ignore this because that's horrible but um, you can also then email it directly to someone so let's say that I've um, 
I am in a client meeting from my tablet. I can't show you from here, but I could click on this organic um, brainstorming sheet, click the three dots in the corner, and then click share. And so I could actually send this directly to a client from the coffee shop or from their office, and this could be, give them kind of an idea of what they should be um, thinking about prior to our next meeting or some of the questions that they might need to answer. So. Again, I just think that um, being able to create your own documents and PDFs and put them into your Remarkable is a fantastic way to keep yourself organized. If you have any other questions, as always, you can email me at jen at imbyjm.com. Thanks a bunch and have a great day. Where is the screen recording? I want to stop recording.